I look at it all the time. It's where I gather all my strength. It's where I get all my strength from. For the last two weeks, Michelle Galasso started her day with a message. What does that message say? It says, happy birthday to my mom, my other half, best friend. Her daughter Zoe sent it to her a few months ago. I look up to you. You're the strongest person I know, and I wouldn't be who I am without you in my life. This is the message Michelle prefers to read. I guess this is all I have. Considering the last message she sent Zoe. At 11.40 on Friday, are you okay? She never heard back. On her made you want to just be happy. She had a laugh that <laughs> was contagious. <laughs> she was <laughs> beautiful inside and out. Zoe was Michelle's best friend. She was her baby. The most giving, the most wonderful, just the most wonderful person. TV responding to a shooting at Marysville Falls Jump High School in the cafeteria. In my boss's office and um, a co-worker came in to tell me that there had been a shooting at my children's school. And all of a sudden she saw a string of text messages from her only other child, Raiden. I was in shock. I felt sick. He's a junior at MP. He's in a panic and he's at the school and he's scared and he's hearing the rumors that it was the shooter was Jalen and that it's possibly Zoe and her friends. So we gathered all the family. We all went to the hospital with mass confusion and children coming in with, you know, head wounds. It's hard to decipher who's who and all the girls looked a lot alike. We were trying to establish their identities. When did you know? For us, they, they finally, finally had to tell us that um, our child had passed at the school. Zoe died in the cafeteria alongside the shooter, Jalen Freiberg. You knew Jalen? Yeah. You watched him grow up? I know that family. I love that family. Could you ever forgive Jalen for what he did? I have to. I have to forgive him. In order for me to move on, I have to. I'll never know why he did it. And he took away one of the best things that I ever brought into this world. He did. But he's a child too. And in order for me to heal from this, I have to forgive him because I cannot waste my life hating or being angry. I just can't. You've spoken with Jalen's parents since this incident. Yes. How did that conversation go? I hugged his mom. I told her I loved her. She's hurting. She's grieving. She lost her child as well.